This is David and Angie, and we live in a 12 by 16 dry cabin in Alaska. We chose to go simple, so when we want to, we can simply go. We are the Rutherfords, and these are our roamings. If you are just visiting our channel and you like this video, we ask that you would consider subscribing to our channel and we can bring you a new adventure from Rutherford Roamings each Sunday. So I put in my eight hours of work, and then when we got home, my daughter and I and her youngest kiddo, we packed up and we headed 51 miles north to Victory Bible Camp. This was our weekend away, our women's retreat. Our annual women's retreat is a weekend away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, a chance to relax, reconnect with other women and God, and fellowship and worship together. The campus of Victory Bible Camp lies at the base of the Talkeetna Mountains on 400 acres. Victory Bible Camp began more than 70 years ago and has become a place where young and old can go to experience God in a beautiful mountainous setting. The theme for this year's retreat was Faith That Can Move Mountains. We had a blast. There was lots of fun, food, fellowship, and there was faith that moved mountains for many. Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and dark, your story's untold. Come take my hand and walk there. Prospect Heights Trailhead. Uh, it's on the hillside in Anchorage. Uh, we just started up the trail to hit Wolverine Creek today. Uh, we met up with Andy. 
Maddie's with me. There's Andy. Say hi. Uh, the trail conditions should be pretty good. Maybe a little slushy in places. Maybe some mud here and there. But all right, catch you up there. What do you got, Maddie? Is there water down here? Maddie found herself another watering hole. He's hot, huh? Oh, we made it. Wolverine Peak. We made it. What do you think, Maddie? All right, we made it top of Wolverine Peak. There's Andy. He's almost made it as well. I'm just going to give you some view of this glorious place. It's just breathtaking up here. While David's off on his mountain adventure, I'm home from retreat and excited about getting busy working in the yard. Meanwhile, back on the mountain.
Oh, Matty. Let's go, Matty. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was deep. All right, back at the parking lot. So nine and a half miles round trip to Wolverine Peak on a beautiful Alaska spring day. That was an awesome trip, very beautiful. Highly recommend it. As Maddie after a good hike. Springtime in Alaska, where all things wake up from their deep, dark winter slumber. Some may even say that the mosquito is the Alaska state bird. During the winter season, the birch trees store nutrients and release it as birch water for harvesting in the spring. It is high in antioxidants, helps to flush out toxins from the liver, promotes kidney function, and enhances skin and hair health. It is a clear liquid with a slight sweet taste. It can also be fermented for wine or beer, or be turned into syrup, jellies, or candies. Good night, friends. We'll see you again when the sun rises.
is all too uh, commonly to our own detriment. I mean, just physically alone, let's take a look at the kinds of it, though there's a connection. You are, you are physical, you are spiritual, and there's also a mental side to you, and we have to hold on to the approach. So much, he invites you to enjoy the benefits of being in the world. Been, uh, hey friends, so there's been some some interest here and there about this pile of junk sitting out in our yard. Um, and it's actually not a pile of junk, it's actually kind of cool. But it's something that I put together a few years ago um, when I got bored. This is what happens when I get bored. Um, I started life as a 66 F100 long bed pickup and in two months it turned into this. This right here is actually the whole reason for this truck is this truck was built to carry this flag 